Who says it's not easy being green? The Southern Nevada Water Authority has one of the nation's greenest fleets. It's all part of the SNWA's broad commitment to the environment. In fact, you could say that sustainable practices and alternative fuels drive the SNWA's fleet. You may have two or three autos in your garage. Now think bigger. The combined garage managed by the Water Authority's Fleet Services Division, which also maintains vehicles for the Las Vegas Valley Water District and Springs Preserve, comprises about 620 service and utility vehicles of all shapes, sizes, and uses. Now think greener, too. More than 90% of these fleet vehicles run on alternative fuels. That includes compressed natural gas, biodiesel, E85 ethanol blend fuel, even gas electric hybrid and plug-in electric technology. Fleet is driving toward the goal of 100% alternative fueled vehicles and has only a short distance to go. Since 2006, all new or replaced vehicles use alternative fuels. Driving Green has brought SNWA national recognition. In 2015, SNWA ranked second among the country's top 50 government green fleets, as rated by 100 best fleets. It's not a new stop on the road, but it's the SNWA's highest ranking since 2008, when nationwide recognition of green municipal fleet practices at the local, state, and federal levels began. The SNWA and Water District fleets have ranked in the top 25 green fleets every one of those eight years. Awards are given to uh, fleets that uh, have went the extra mile in, in looking at green strategies, whether it be alternative fuel, whether it be recycling strategies, whether it be the buildings that we work in, uh, lighting, uh, such as this building here is all LED lighting. Uh, we also uh, utilize a, a myriad of uh, alternative fuels uh, from CNG to biodiesel to plug-in electric and many others. The Water Authority's team of certified fleet experts think and act green in many ways. They track fuel consumption, flag usage increases, and develop ways to increase efficiency. Underutilized vehicles are identified so fleet size can be reduced. Telematics is used to map the most fuel and cost efficient routes, and all garage staff recycle materials such as motor oil, tires and rubber, antifreeze, and batteries. Even the garage is green, using low energy LED lighting throughout. While specialized vehicles can have diverse needs, flex fuel is one important green strategy for trucks that see daily use on valley roads. For example, if you've spotted a water district vehicle in your neighborhood, chances are it's one of more than 85 flexible fuel vehicles operating on E85 fuel. The environmental benefits of this ethanol-based fuel include reduced greenhouse gas emissions. We're able to buy an alternative fuel vehicle for basically the same price you would buy a regular unleaded fuel vehicle. So it allows us to meet our goals of being a green fleet. It also allows us to buy fuel off the open market. We don't have to have special fuels uh, blended. We don't have to have uh, special vehicles built to run this type of fuel. Uh, we can buy them off the street, we can put them on the road immediately and we're running alternative fuel. The fuel is less expensive, the vehicles themselves are less expensive than buying, say, uh, biodiesel vehicles, which would be as much as 30% higher in cost. So we have a large savings in capital uh, dollars and we also have savings in fuel costs. The miles add up. The SNWA's service area, which includes the entire Las Vegas Valley, also reaches as far as Laughlin or even East Central Nevada at times covering those miles both efficiently and with the fewest natural resources really matters. Fuel usage uh, is one of the largest uh, carbon footprints we have in this organization, so anything we can do to reduce that, we're, we're going to do that. However, we still need to meet our mission, uh, we need to meet our goals as an organization, and we're going to try to build the best vehicles, best equipment to, to do that in the most economical manner. An award-winning green fleet is just one important way the SNWA incorporates sustainability into its daily practices. Visit SNWA.com to learn more about the SNWA's green buildings, its voluntary commitment to meeting 25% of its energy needs through renewable resources by 2025, and more. Green is good. As the SNWA continues to garner national awards for environmental responsibility, it's fueled for long-term success on the road and in the community it serves. Reporting for Waterways, I'm Christine Vaughn.